Hello, so this is my first ever review or even a video on YouTube. So this is going to be a quick review of the newer BGE14 battery grip, which is for the Canon 70D, 80D, and also apparently the 90D. So recently I had bought a EOS 90D and I was looking at the battery grips and I could see on the Canon website it's £174.99p and as I've just recently bought the camera I didn't really want to pay that much for a battery grip I then looked on Wex Photography which is a store I've used for a few things and I've never had any issues with them and but theirs was still £174 so only 99p cheaper and then went on Uncle Google and was looking for second hand ones and the cheapest that I found was on a company called MPB which was £109 so they're not a store I've used before so I'm not I can't really recommend or not recommend them but it is a store that I will purchase from so then I looked on Amazon and I came across this the newer one which was £42.99p so I thought I would give that a try I looked at the ratings and it's had a uh, 1,284 ratings and 79% of those were five stars so it was looking promising so in the end I decided to go with this so I looked on YouTube and most of the videos that I found on there was this battery grip but most of them was with the EOS 80D so that's why I'm making this quick video so this isn't an unboxing because I actually used it yesterday to make sure it worked for eight hours and yep I had no issues but this is what is inside when you open it up so you've got a piece of cardboard so you've got this which is so you can use AA batteries should you need it I guess in emergency so it takes six batteries I, I don't my personally I don't think this is something that I will use it just means something extra I'd have to carry around plus the six batteries but I can see why this would be useful and it could get you out a bit out of a jam so that inside you've got obviously the battery grip manual and obviously the, the newer cards so I'll move this box out of the way so the battery grip what can this really say about that uh, it's a battery grip I guess at the end of the day I mean it looks good it's lightweight I mean I can compare this with um, this one which is the BGE7 this is for a 7D so this I got second hand a few years ago I think for about £30 so comparing the two you can tell the difference by the feel the BG14 is lighter weight the Canon one it feels solid I think if I was to drop this yeah it's a good chance it'd break but I think this will probably break quicker so you can tell the difference between them looking at them there isn't much difference when it, between the two I mean, the Canon's got this slot where you can pop it out to get access to the batteries but on the newer one you actually have to pull this little switch out turn it and then put it out and then you've got the sock where you put in the two batteries and, it, and then on here he's got the on button on the Canon it's on the side but I'm not reviewing the BG E7 that was just to really c compare the two out of them but like I said you can tell the difference but £42 you can't really complain it looks good all the buttons the wheel yeah, it feels a bit plastic -y, but that's no big deal or deal breaker so let's I start to use it so as I said you turn that to put out the battery compartment and this is where you can put the batteries for it so 
put in the first one and it literally just slots in and slots down Oops. and then once you've got that then you just slide it in like so and then twist it back to lock it in place and that's it with two batteries so then to put it into the can on so you've got the slot there so just take out the this part and this which I think is nice it's actually got a slot where you can actually just clip it in place and then lock it down with the other battery grip you have to put it in and just slide it down in a little compartment there so I like this at the fact and then you can literally use the little latch to unlock it so then we put this into the camera and then you just turn this to lock it in Yep, saw the red light on there, so it's obviously got the power. So I'll put out this so you can actually see it is actually working. So then you just turn on the camera as normal once that comes on. So then if I go into the menu and then go to battery info, yep, not sure if you can see that. Yep, seeing the two batteries both showing 80, one's showing 87% and the other's 89%, which I think is pretty good because as I said, I used this for nine hours yesterday and both batteries are in the upper 80s. I mean, I, when I looked at on the website for the newer, they say they don't use both batteries at the same time. It will use one when that dies out, it goes straight to the second one. But as both of these was ch fully charged when I put it in, it looks like it does use both of them. Maybe not at the same time, but I was expecting one to maybe be on 80 and the other 100%. But that I don't mind. <laughs> I said it got me through nine hours without, without the need to charge it. So overall, it looks pretty good. I mean, it feels good. I said it's the extension to the camera which you need if you like to hold it. I have these for the camera straps but I personally still can't get used to the camera straps. I don't like the weight around my neck so it's very rare that I will add it on there. But these are the peak design ones so I can just attach it on. So I tend to just hold the camera. So obviously you can walk around and hold it up with no problems. Also if you want to do it in portrait mode and you can turn it the other side but again it feels good in the hands solid you can grip hold of it yeah it's not slippery or anything so it, overall it's quite good I said overall I'm very happy with it at £42.99 it's more than half cheaper than the second hand one and almost three times cheaper than if you was to buy it brand new but as battery grip goes it does well, it says on the tin, as they say.